This section's material is very much like in section 5.3, the word problems, except now we're going to be working with inequality sign instead of just equal signs. So if you're not comfortable with the word problem in 5.3, you should go back and revisit the lectures and quizzes. And I'll be referring to a lot of materials we discussed there. Let's look at an example problem. Dance toy maker make toy car and toy trucks using plastic and steel. Each car requires four ounces of plastic and three ounces of steel, while each truck requires three ounces of plastic and six ounces of steel. Each day, Dance has 30 pounds of plastic and 45 pounds of steel to use in making toy cars and tr trucks. And he can sell all of his cars and trucks he makes with these materials. His profit is $5 per car and $4 per truck. How many cars and trucks should he make to maximize his profit? So let's just look at this last sentence real quick. And how many cars and trucks should, be, should he make? Here, that's our line for the variables. So when we do the word problem, again, first step is going to be the same deal, identifying the variables. Here I have X being number of cars to be made and Y being number of trucks to be made. Here the second step is new. This is uh, formulating objective functions. So the objective functions represent the goal that the decision maker is trying to achieve instead of just using an auto material like in 5.3. So here the sentence says that his profit is $5 per car and $4 per truck. So since X is the number of cars to be made, so then he's going to receive five times X for selling cars and then four times Y for selling trucks. So his profit function is five X plus four Y. And his objective is to maximize this. Third step is to formulate the constraint. So this is just like formulating equation in 5.3 except now it's inequality because we're not using it all up. We just have to not use up more than what we have. It pretty much works the same. So here we have a resource problem and we get one equation for resource with plastic and steel. And this works the same way. We go, uh, each, each of the X takes four plastic and three steel. Each of the Y takes three plastic and six steel. And since this is resource, we have, this is the amount of resource we use up. It have to be less than what you have. And here we have 480 plastic and 720 steel. In addition, there are two constraints, which are called implicit constraint. That is that X have to be greater than or equal to zero and Y have to be greater than or equal to zero. So that's just saying that you cannot make a negative number of cars and trucks. Here you don't have to learn how to solve, so this is it for now.